Hi, I'm Clayton with WTB. People often ask us how much air loss is expected with the tubeless system over a given period of time. It's important to note that any tubeless setup is going to lose air quicker than their tube counterparts. They may lose air a bit quicker, but that's a small price to pay for the endless benefits of our TCS tubeless system. Depending on the sealant used and the overall seal of the tubeless system, tires can drop below safe operating levels within a time range of a few hours or even a few weeks. Therefore, it is important to check your tire pressures before every ride with a digital pressure gauge. We also suggest you check your tire pressure before every ride to ensure optimum performance, maximum puncture protection, and bead retention. If your tubeless tires are losing substantial pressure within a few minutes or maybe even just a couple hours, there's a possibility that you have damaged tubeless tape or a loose valve stem. Start by tightening down the valve stem and seeing if that fixes the problem. If not, you may have to take the tire off and retape the rim. If you're losing a substantial amount of pressure within just a few days, there's a good chance you either have old sealant in your tires, not enough sealant, or are maybe leaking air through the sidewalls of the tire. If this is the case, we highly suggest you remove the whole wheel from the bike, put fresh sealant in, and shake the tire around. This will allow the sealant to fully coat the sidewall of the tire as well as the tread. If you keep it on your bike, throw sealant in and just spin the tire, it'll keep the sealant at the tread of the tire, but not really help in the areas of the sidewall. In order to ensure your TCS tubeless system retains an airtight seal, as well as ensuring that you have sealant in there in case you do get a flat on the trail, we highly suggest that you check your sealant levels every couple months. This should be done even more often for those who live in dry climates.